Thanksgiving is a week and a half away, but we are at the Wynn Las Vegas, and already the uh, Casino Hotel has put up its holiday decorations. And it has opened a brand new shopping area. This is luxury shopping at its finest. A lot of Italian companies have come to the win. We're going to take a look at the new shopping area called the Plaza Shops. It's not where I typically shop, but I love to take a look. From the casino area, we head down a long hall, and there's a sign, Plaza Shops and Dining. This store is Kuyat, if I could pronounce it correctly. It's a Polish name, but an American company founded 110 years ago, and 10 years ago bought the Fred Layton um, stores also. It is an all-diamond company, and we'll take a look here. I did not ask the prices, but if you are interested in diamonds, Kuyat is here, and the gentleman inside will be very happy to help you. Right under the massive chandelier in the hallway is the name of this store, Stefano Ricci. This is an Italian company. I believe the gentleman told me it was 47 years old. Everything in the store is handmade in Italy, and I happen to ask, does everything cost more than $50? I ask that because you have to spend $50 at the wind to get free parking. Yes, indeed, he said. Even the socks start at $150. So this is a very high-end store, as most of them are here. And everything that one buys, I'm sure, can be kept for a lifetime. Stefano Ricci. Ortega Veneta, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is another Italian company based in Venice, Italy, and they have, boy, a show-stopping holiday decor that I love. Very interesting. And this is a store that has a number of leather goods, ready-to-wear and jewelry. This particular store moved to the wind from the Venetian, and they are here. So once again, if you like Italian goods, come to the wind and stop in at Bottega Veneta. Now we're in the open area that is part of the plaza, and here is a beautiful sculpture called Smiling King Bear by Okuda San Miguel. I don't know whether this is a permanent structure, but it has been here for a long time. And look at this beautiful shopping area. It goes all the way down here and upstairs as well. Gorgeous. With Louis Prima singing in the background, we are at the Saint Laurent store. It's quite a large store. Leather goods and ready to wear. I believe these stores were born around 1961. Again, high end. Most leather goods made in Italy. Average price of a purse here, $2,300. We've heard a lot about Stella McCartney in recent years, and she has her own store here. This is ready to wear, and I don't know prices, but I'm sure the items in here would be unique to the purchaser. Balmain, Paris, of course, is a Paris company, a design company. Um, the name came from the last name of the original designer and I was just told that there is a young man who is the current designer. They do a lot of work with sequins, as in this dress. I asked the price, $8,000.
this is another of the Bauman um, windows. Look at this. I'm not sure whether it is a tunic or a coat. It's pretty hairy and very noticeable. The Breitling store is here, and this is where you would get a high-end watch. Mostly men's watches are on display, although there are some women's watches. And look at the models that they have for their watches. Uh, Brad Pitt, Charlize Theron, and um, Adam Driver. But here's the store. Starting point of watches may be around $4,000. It's a beautiful store. And you can see what's here. And the salespeople will be more than happy to help you. Looks like there's some pens. Oh, those are watch bands. So this is Breitling, a Swiss company. Right next to Breitling is Omega. And we're looking at more watches. Omega watches. Keton is the store and this is ready to wear. The woman who I talked to in the store said the Keton is family owned and the owner is still alive. And this is an Italian company based in Naples and they are known for their fabrics. Wow, look at that. Well, it's too bad. Wait a minute, you can, can't look through the window. But we'll get a little closer. Another beautiful store, and they will make a suit to fit your uh, beautiful body <laughs> from head to toe. Kita. And if you want fancy eyewear, this is Vitra. And they're opening gift to you 50% off Tom Ford. It looks like a lot of sunglasses and other eyewear as well. And a restaurant called Cipriani. It looks perfect for lunch. When you're shopping, you stop here. Beautiful restaurant. Lovely bar. And already a few customers. This shopping area has only been open for four days when I'm visiting. More stores are coming that haven't opened. Hermes, Paris, and Celine look like they are going to have major presences here as well. More look like store titles, Off-White and Lowy. And we're making our way to one of the entrances. We're on the strip, um, kind of across from what we can see of the Trump Hotel. And this is the entrance to the Wynn Plaza Shops. It's quite a lovely building. And if you look way up, you'll see the sign, Wynn Plaza Shops. And here are the actual doors that enter the plaza shops with the names of the stores on the door here. Across from the entrance is a sculpture called Arrows and Flowers Neon Design. And I'm going to have to walk up close to the sign to tell you who it's by. But uh, the flowers section is quite colorful and fun. Yes, the plaza shops have a second floor. And we are about to explore it. I hope you can see the sign way down there. It says Soul Cycle. And there are some of the cycles. This is a spin class area and a place where you can buy um, stuff that you would wear while you're working out. This sign unapologetically addicted to soul. And we'll take a quick look inside. This is the first time Soul Cycle has come to Las Vegas. This is a New York company. And they are here and people can sign up. Leave it to the whim to have 
beautiful restrooms and beautiful entries. This is the entry to the ladies room and oh my goodness, if you'd like a drink of water, look at this. Wow. I'm not sure if this is all marble. It's quite lovely. So this is the ladies room in the plaza area. More stores coming, Cotton Citizen and Beecher. Looks like there's a Nike symbol there. An Aviator Nation. Not sure what all this is, but I'm sure shortly all of these stores will be filled. If you need a cup of coffee while you're shopping, this is Earth Cafe, U-R-T-H. Don't know. Uh, whether <clears throat> there's a new spelling. But anyway, exclusively organic coffees and fine teas. And a very nice looking establishment. Quite large, really. Wow. And the sign out front says, we are a European style cafe, a casual, comfortable experience with no waiters. Please place your order with the cashier, find a table, and it will be our pleasure to bring it to you. Earth Cafe roasts its own exclusively heirloom organic coffee and offers unique fine teas. And there's more to the sign. Wow. A beautiful place. Diners at Earth Cafe can also sit outside. I hope you can see the sign. This is Marie France Van Dam, and these are some of her designs. This is a designer, a uh, French Canadian designer based in Hong Kong, and she designs resort wear that can also be evening wear. Dresses at $2,000. They're quite lovely and you come to the second floor to take a look at Marie France Van Damme. Rimoa is a luggage company from Germany and they make aluminum luggage and polycarbonate luggage with a price point starting at like $540 up to $1,800. Gentleman here said this is the finest luggage one can have. There are five-year guarantees. Um, this luggage is strong, but yet lightweight. And it's on the second floor of the plaza shop. The men's store upstairs is called James Purse. So far, I don't see customers. I don't see customers in any of the stores so far. But then the word is just getting out. Wow, look at the second floor view of the flowers here by the escalator. I went down the escalator and was so looking ahead at all the stores, I missed this look at these flowers. That's the way I see a store with the name Yosemite. And it looks like a men's store, and it's next to something called DipDQ. And I'm not familiar with that. I'm going to have to return. Another outdoor entrance to the plaza shops is here, and folks can actually be dropped off in a car here. And here is the entrance. And you can enter the plaza shops from the self park area. As I'm getting ready to leave the plaza shops, I have to take a look down and remark on the beautiful carpets. The Wynn Las Vegas has always been beautiful. Every single detail here is gorgeous. So, even if people don't have <laughs> um, the uh, urge to buy a $500 piece of luggage, I suggest you come down, walk around, take a look. This is a beautiful place.